All right, so I just got this uh, Kubota diesel uh, lawnmower. It's got the little two cylinder in it. It's pretty well taken care of um, for the age. The transmissions in these had an issue um, where the, if there got any slop in the drive shaft, it would wear out uh, the front case there and the bearings and the pump and stuff. But uh, luckily this one uh, feels like it's in good shape. The blades aren't terrible. We could probably get a little more life out of them. Um, the one thing that he did say it needed is probably gonna need deck bearings. So, said so they're squealing. It's got a little slop in it. It's got 573 hours. That's pretty bad sounding. So I'm starting to think it's a gearbox. You can hear, obviously, the bearings in there is a shot. Um, and this one, it's uh, it doesn't move very smooth. It makes a ton of noise. Just gonna pull this snap ring here. See, now this isn't making any noise. It feels smooth. I don't feel any play in the shaft. Looks like it might have been leaking. Oh. That's, uh... That's not what you're supposed to use in there it's kind of weird though i wonder if they've mixed or there's some you know some gear oil left in there still and they uh just slap some grease in it it's very odd gears look okay our bearings Be quiet see all the grease left in there but we'll just put a new seal in that and uh fill it back up with 80 90. all right we've got this gearbox put back together now um i don't hear any weird noises spin smooth all them bearings are good and i got it cleaned out real good so uh we're just topping it off with fresh 80 90 and uh Hopefully, we'll have this thing running here again soon. All right, so I've got my uh, little pile of parts here now. A bunch of bearings. Um, I did think it was kind of weird. The new spindle bearings are sealed. Um, I mean, I guess, I don't know. We'll just pull the seals out of it and call it good. I went ahead and got an oil filter and fuel filters for it. Um, but let's get these bearings put in and finally try this thing out. Flex ratchet is not the best option for this. There we go. Grab our snap room pliers. These are not the greatest quality. K tool. <clears throat> they work okay, but uh kind of wish I would have just spent the money on the nice Nipix set and been done with it. Uh, these do have a lifetime warranty, but I mean, as you just saw, they're kind of cheaply built, twist under pressure sometimes and whatnot. Should just be able to tap it right out. <coughs> Uh, 
goes. All right, here's our part number for this one. Now, usually I would use a socket uh, the same size as the outer race to tap this in, but uh, I don't have one. That's the right size. So we'll just carefully use a punch um, to put these in. That just went flying. Oh boy. Through some miracle, I found where it landed. Let's try that again a little differently. There we go. She's in there. All right, cool. There's the part number for our seal. All right. See, we've got our snap ring in there. So the middle one, the middle one's done. Um, now we'll just knock these two out, which should be a very similar process. Just two bearings instead of the one. Um, and then we'll give this thing a shot. Here's our, the other one came out with the spindle and let's see if it's got a seal. It does. So that's kind of odd. Uh, the main difference though between the middle one and these is they use like these shields is what they call them instead of the seal in that one uh, but it's obviously kind of the same process okay so now I'm understanding um, how this is set up on the lower end uh, this is a new bearing you see this side is completely open and then it has the same shield on it and that's actually the same way this one is set up so I'm wondering why they chose to use sealed bearings up top though. Um, Cause obviously that's factory. So I don't know. All right, so we've got the deck all rebuilt. I kind of just touched up the blades real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and grease these spindles where uh, we will actually see grease. Uh, at least until I see it come out of here so I know grease has passed through everything. All right, there's some grease coming out. Stick a little more. All right, we're all set there. how it should sound right there. So, I just mowed with this thing for probably two or three hours. We're looking all good under here. Um, this thing honestly kind of exceeded my expectations for it. So, uh, I'm very happy with it. The deck sounds good now. No awful grinding noises and bearing noises none of that so it's in good shape 
nice and polished under here now yeah this thing cuts really nice too and i didn't even i didn't even try and level it yet or anything yeah this thing runs great and cuts great so the one thing i noticed didn't work our temp gauge worked but our hour meter does not yeah see our air filter's nice and clean Everything's nice and hot. This oil filter doesn't look that old. And the oil itself wasn't completely black. So, I mean, this may have been changed before. Or, you know, somewhat recently. Obviously before, but... The one back here will be a little more difficult to see, but that's where it's at up there. Pretty sure these hold maybe three quarts. So we got this thing all washed up, looks good. I may uh, do something to make the paint look a little nicer, but for now it's okay, it's just a lawnmower. I was kind of poking around in here, looking for anything that might uh, relate to my hour meter. And I see the two wires going to it, but I haven't, you know, been able to really get in there and look. I checked all the fuses and whatnot, and there's nothing just sticking out. See the horn down in there. Now I knew of this on the newer model mowers, like the zero turns, but it has a uh, overheat sensor. Um, that one right there is for your gauge, and then that one, if you get it too hot, it starts honking at you. So I knew that was the thing on like the new ones, but I didn't realize something this old had that. For this is the uh, power feed for the hour meter when the key's on. So let's turn the key on and we do. Now I also just found something else. When I turned the key off just now, I heard this black box click. So I went and plugged in our stop solenoid, turned the key on turn it back off and it works so that's kind of weird I guess it was kind of rigged up for some of the safety switches or something okay our test lights hooked up to the positive side of the battery here's our ground okay so the hour meter is getting power so it's the hour meter itself that's broken all right, so for our final kind of thing I'm gonna do to this mower is uh, I wanna try and improve the cosmetics a little bit. And I've kind of got a bunch of miscellaneous detailing stuff laying around here. Uh, and I figured I'd try some of this. I've never used anything like this before. So I've got this uh, quick wax. It's like a half full bottle. It says you just wipe it on, let it dry, and wipe it off. So. so here's a good look at what we're working with. You see the paint's just kind of faded on the top. It doesn't look too bad on the sides. That may have been too much. I don't know. Okay, so check this thing out now. 
it still kind of has a haze to it obviously it's just old paint but uh that looks a lot better that way so that first spray stuff that i used didn't work very well but uh see now it even kind of has a reflection to it that's nice so this is what i used the uh, second time it's more of like a i don't know paste or whatever that you spread it on let it dry and then kind of buff it off that looks a lot better with that so i'll go ahead and do the rest of the mower in this uh, but that's going to be it for this video i guess i kind of just want to do a quick video on this little mower i thought it was pretty cool um it's working good so uh yeah that'll be it for this one uh you probably won't see much more of this hopefully we'll get some more tractor projects here soon or something similar and uh obviously get some more videos out of that stuff but that's all for this one